I'm going on a deployment. My unit that I'm with, probably one person, maybe three, actually knows that I'm a brony. But I'm, I'm, I don't know if I should bring that stuff and come out to my uh, quote unquote come out. I'm not gay, but I quote unquote. Come I was out. about to say this sounds like uh, you know the controversy. This is like the don't say pony law. Hello. Hey. What's your uh, name, cool. cowboy? Uh, Joe. Joe. What's going on, Joe? Oh, uh, you know, uh, celebrated my birthday today or yesterday, and uh, I'm in Missouri right now. Uh, it's snowing right now, actually. Uh, how old are you turning? Uh, 27. It just turns 27. 27. Rock and roll. Well, I called you. You texted me, and you said, I'm in the military and brony for over 10 years now i'm going yeah, to assume yeah. that when you say brony you're not talking about a, a, a special ops part of the military no, no, that i'm not I, aware I, of you are talking about the the fandom of the my little yeah. pony universe yeah yeah i'm pretty sure you look like you know you you've you know you look like you've been on the internet for a while so i'm pretty sure you know what a brony is yeah i thought you were going to say i look like i would be a brony and i and i oh, i'm no. very curious to hear what <laughs> would give you that impression i mean i do have a fucking neck beard so i guess that's, it's valid <laughs> no i i i'm i'm, I'm I, I don't i don't got a neck beard or anything like that i'm just a normal dude looking dude um but yeah yeah i've been in the i've been in the military for about um a little actually just hit seven years last november and uh i've been a brony for over 10 years uh, i feel like um you know what's interesting is is that like so okay it, it like the brony subculture it used to be that used to be and you're well aware of this it used to be like yeah. kind of the butt of the joke on the internet and i i think culturally you guys have been replaced by furries cuz i have not yeah. heard a word about bronies in a long time and like now every now everyone's like shits on furries and you got nobody i like if you talk to like a like a middle schooler or, or even like a high schooler today, they probably wouldn't even know what a brony is, but they would know what a furry yeah, is. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people like to say bronies are diet furries. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't really have any opinion on that. If you want to call us that, I, I don't know. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a part of my life. And I've been uh, hanging on for 10 years. So not really, I mean, you... I'm, not, I'm not passionate about it, but I'm, 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 I'm like, it's been a big part of my life and i think it's changed my life so i know you feel corny when i say that well no i don't think i don't think it's corny i think it's, i mean there's uh, my uh, significant uh, fucking super smash brothers has been a significant part of my life so um i mean I, I i totally understand how you arrived there right i mean it's a sense of community it's i'm sure you've been to conventions i'm sure you've made friends oh yeah sure you've, yeah I've, I've been um, to like a lot of conventions uh last year and i plan on going to some more this year for the first time in my life i've actually had money to go to them and i've been wanting to go to them for a long ass time and it's just yeah i'm really happy with uh where i am at right now who's your pony <laughs> um uh i'm a, i'm a i'm a fluttershy fan fluttershy, i was gonna say okay. a different word but I, I can't i can't really say that on here so um, but uh, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know what word you're referring to. Yeah, it's it's a different word. I can't. It's a it's a naughty word. I'm not allowed to say on here. But uh, yeah, I just I'll so just the brony subculture. I mean, be real with me. Are the uh, like are these guys? Are these guys? Do they fantasize about fucking the ponies? Uh, uh, there's you know people like to say that a lot. I'm not one of them, but I uh, I I keep it more pure. Um, I'm not one of those weirdos that you know a lot of people like to say oh bronies jerk off to my while they're watching my little pony or my little pony porn yes there is a whole lot of my little pony porn but um you know the most part of it is just people loving and enjoying the community and the show and you know there's tons and tons of content on the internet you know it's just it's crazy but uh yeah it's it's uh yeah yeah, I mean, I mean, I you know, you can't pin, you can't put Rule Thirty Four on My Little Pony. I mean, there's we've been watching <laughs> ads of The Simpsons fucking each yeah, other yes, on can. Pornhub forever. Yes, you, you know, no, I don't think. It, no, no, I mean, like people. Well, well, no, what I'm what I'm saying is like, um, there every cartoon has swaths of porn of it, so you know. Yes. Um. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um. 
I, the main reason why I, I wanted to get in contact with you is because um, next year or this year, rather, um, I'm soon going on a deployment and uh, my unit that I'm with, uh, probably one person, two, maybe maybe three knows that I'm actually knows that I'm a brony. And uh, I don't know if I should. I have obviously like I have merch like with me, like I have a few plushes and um, and uh, but I'm, I'm, I don't know if I should bring that stuff and come out to my uh, quote unquote come out. I'm not gay, but I quote unquote. Come I was about out. to say this. Sound this sounds like uh, you know the controversy. This is like the don't say pony law. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, just uh, military guys, just dicks in general. Especially my unit. I'm with the uh, uh, military police unit, and uh, they're just they're they're almost like you get people get shit on uh, infantry and military police is almost like infantry, which like like eighty five percent of them are dicks, and uh, I don't know if I've been with this unit for my entire career. I don't know if I should come out or if I should just like keep it hidden the entire career. I don't know. I was just wanting to get some advice on that. So you've been, I mean, but you say you've been both a, a in the My Little Pony fandom and uh, in the military for 10 years. So this is, so this well, is not I've a been, new. I, I've been a brony for over 10 years and I've been in the military for, I, I, was a brony before I became and before I enlisted. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is there now? Is there still a branch of the military that rides horses? And if so, can <laughs> you get transferred uh, there? You, you, uh, cavalry. Um, uh, you you can, but that's that's hardly ever done. Like, because I was gonna say, you know that there's several closet bronies in the cavalry. You gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. A lot of, I'll actually, a lot of bronies are in the air force. Believe it or not. <laughs> really? Um, what do you, What do you think is yeah. the? What's the Venn diagram connection there? Uh, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure why. A lot of them are like, I don't know, because a lot. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure why that is, but it, it's it's like a lot. Uh, if you meet a furry or a brony, there's like. I'd say a seventy percent chance that they're in the Air Force. Well, okay. As far as like whether or not to let your uh, uh, people know that you're a brony, I mean, really, the question is like, uh, uh, like, how integral is this stuff into your in your life, right? Because I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, what 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 feel what feels right to you? Well. Um, I think part of me saying fuck it and not give a shit about what anybody thinks and I kind of stand by that but there's another part where I don't want to get made fun of and get shit on every day during, during my deployment and uh, you know and plus you know the show has it's like I know it sounds weird when I say this and corny, but it's been like it's taking a, a like a big piece of my life, and I've it's I don't know how I should say, say it, but I a lot of the stuff that they show in the show, like they teach lessons and stuff like that, like the um, the plots of the show of the of certain episodes like and premises i kind of implement that into my life you know mm -hmm. and so i want to be able to implement that and be a fan and yeah. not care what anybody thinks but right then i don't want to be yeah you know what i'm saying like it's, oh, yeah. it's kind of like it's kind of like, it's i swear to god it's kind of like high school like or high school or middle school like if you mm -hmm. like something that's like say like what 10 or 15 years ago if you admitted you're like oh yeah i love anime and whatnot in middle school bro you'd get like the shit made out of made fun of you so it's right. just it's a it's a it's a it's a hit and miss the kind of thing you know and i don't know right. if i should say fuck it and just go see what happens or hide it 
Well, well, let me ask you this because, just like, like what is what is saying "fuck it" look like? Is like like on it? Like, do you wear do you wear My Little Pony merch on a on a daily <laughs> no, basis? No, like, no, 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 no. Okay. I, uh, I, I mean, my my personal room at home, I it's decked out with all kinds of uh, posters and uh, and merch that I've collected uh, uh, since I've been to going to conventions this year. Um, and I have a few things that I've gotten in the past, but, uh, like, I don't know. I feel like if I do, if I, I swear to God, if I bring like a, a plush or, or a, a blanket, a fan made blanket, I'll, I'll get like the shit made fun out of me. So that's, that's what I mean when I say fuck it and just bring my shit. And if somebody asks me like, what the hell is that? Uh, I'll be like, yo, it's a uh, Twilight Sparkle. It's Twiggy, man. Mm -hmm. what, you got a problem with it or something <laughs> yeah. like that? You know? It's right, like, right, 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 right. So, but then I don't want getting my fucking, my, my, uh, me, made fun of because I know I, I like my little pony. So, how, can I ask how old you are? Yeah, I, yeah, I told you earlier, just 27. Hey, 27. Okay. Well, I, here's the thing. Look, I, and I don't know because this stuff it's certainly certainly and I want to I want to uh, say this it's certainly easier said than done the idea of yes, being yourself for right? sure certainly Absolutely. easier said than done whether whether me or uh, uh, what's the fuck uh, Pinky Pinky Pie is it Pinky Pie Yeah it is Pinky Pie nice job Pinkie yeah. Pie. I I said that like I was like looks like you're becoming like, one of us No I said that like it's like oh I'm gonna pretend like I don't know this pony's name but I guess I <laughs> ultimately yeah, okay. I did I did I did know the name of the pony uh, Well because I used to, this is a this is total aside but I'm gonna answer your question I used to watch like um all like back when the My Little Pony thing was like big like all these YouTubers made these like um you've probably seen them these like like horror parodies of My Little Pony shit. I used to oh yeah, like the creepy pastas. Yeah, yeah, the creepy pasta shit. Um, so anyway, so look, whether I or Pinkie Pie, you know, gets up on our soapbox and says, uh, you know, be yourself, and that's it's the way to be. Which I I, I believe to my core is is true, right? Like you'll be like. You'll be happier if you be yourself and you don't care what anyone thinks. I, I it's gotta, it's true, right? Yeah. But it's yes, it's absolutely. it's easier said than done for sure. Obviously, you know you have to go through a lot of fear and uh, uh, overcome a lot of stuff. But I mean, goddamn man, at, at twenty seven, we're you know similar ages. I mean, at twenty seven, it's like you know, I get it. I get the like when you're sixteen and you just you have nothing. Right, you all you have is the social acceptance of your peers. But at twenty seven, I, I, you're, you're just like you're endowed as a fucking adult to, to like to own a fucking. You paid for that goddamn Twilight Sparkle. I now I'm revealing that I know the names of all the ponies. But you paid <laughs> for the Twilight Sparkle blanket. All right, you know, you're an adult. You make your adult decisions as to what you want to do and what you want to be into in your life. And so, God damn it, what's this other, what's this fucking other guy going to tell you that, that, that really, um, Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't, matters, that, that, right? I, that I've, that, that's, I've heard before. Like, there's probably very little that you could say to me that I have not heard before. But, like, I, I've, I've heard it all, you know, I, you know, I'll get called the the f word, and I'll call, I'll get called all kinds of stuff for, for 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 liking it. So it's, you know, I'm I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna say fuck it and do it. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, if you if you were in my position, and you knew that, I don't know. What would you do? Oh, here's the thing. I'd like to tell you. That I'd say fuck it, and I'd be like, I like My Little Pony, and like just be, cause here's the, th I don't think, I mean, look, I've been talking to you for fifteen minutes. I don't think that you liking My Little Pony, uh, unless if you feel this way from 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 talking to you, I don't think that you liking My Little Pony is this thing that's like so densely informative of your personality and of who you are as a person. Would you agree with that? 
say that again. You kind of cut out. Like, do you like? I don't think that you liking My Little Pony is so largely informative of who you are, uh, uh, of like your personality, right? And, you know, like when no, you, no, with, like, when like when you, like when you're in a com- no. like when you're we're, we're, like when you're in a community, like in the Marines or whatever the I don't I know the military, um, army, army, army. I always fuck that up. But uh, like when you're in when you're in a community and you're around people. And those people are making their decisions in their head of, of, of who you are and whether or not you're accepted into the tribe and all that shit. Like, it, ideally, those decisions are based off of things that are more important than whether or not you like My Little Pony, right? Like, if you're a nice fucking guy, if you're easy to talk to, if you're yeah. uh, helpful, if you're... So just bring the fucking blanket and then be a good person. Be, you know, I'm always your, whatever person. your idea is of... of uh, productive useful member of this community and then go to sleep at night being with your fucking blanket and be like look i like my little pony but i tried as hard as i could to be a good friend to those around me i tried as hard as i could to you know be a good uh uh uh, army man whatever your fucking job i tried as hard as i could to do my job well and in in the universe of the things that mattered i tried and 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 you tuck yourself in with with um your pinky pie plush and your twilight yeah. sparkle blanket knowing that in the fields that mattered in life you tried your best you know right, and right. and again all all easier said than done but uh it, it, when i when i'm thinking about this that's that's what i arrive at yeah i mean i'm i'm definitely i'm i mean i'm i'm a good guy i like to think of myself as a good guy you know i I'm polite. I'm, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I follow, or I follow orders. I, uh, mm-hmm. I, um, I mean, you don't you know, fuck I... horses, right? No. Okay. You took a little too long to answer <laughs> that. But I'm going to believe you. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. I don't think. Well, then what's the big deal? I don't deal? think Who any, cares? I don't think any, well, there's probably a few fucking weirdos out there that probably do, but, um, you know, I don't. Okay. Well, I look. I hope you take what I said to heart, and if and if you do it, um, you know, I you gotta own it, right? You gotta yeah, own it. Yeah, I've, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely gonna own it. But I, and it's crazy too because in the military, you probably there is a, a, hazing and bullying in the military is so rampant. It, it's everybody just blows it off, and that's why there's such. Uh, uh, a bad uh, recruitment rate right now and it just, it's just nobody wants to go back in I think that's a huge part of it like everybody just just makes the fun the shit fun out of like they just make fun of everybody and people that will take that to heart not realizing it's a joke but when you say that joke over and over and over and over and over and over it gets into people's minds and it's just sure. like bro I, I i i can't do this anymore and so it's just you know i've had that happen to me a couple times like i've had that gone through my mind like sure this one guy will always tell me will call me a bitch every time i walk past him sure like, but look look man fuck, I, I know you know, say whatever. and and I, this is this is kind of my my wrap up on this is like i know you say it's like high school but you're you're you know we're we're 27 now it's like yeah you're you're above like you're above you're above i i truly be like like making fun of other people and being a bully and being weird like that's fucking high school like just be like just be above it man like the best you can again i know it's easier something done but just do your best to just be above it all right facts yeah Definitely, I'm definitely gonna bring my my little Twiggy plush and uh, <laughs> and uh, hang her above my uh, my. Uh, uh, now I'll probably fucking sleep with her. Fuck it. Tell tell people <laughs> to just tell people that you're using it to smuggle in cocaine, and then they'll be like, Hell hey. yeah, hell yeah! They'd be like, Dude, that's fucking dope. That's smart they'll be like, as hell. That's sick. That's that is the Twilight Sparkle in that's that's the sparkle in the Twilight Sparkle. The <laughs> yeah, um, what's your name again, man? Joe. Joe, is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer before we go? I do, but I I, I'll, I can't say that on here. But uh, I'll just dude, say you this. Can, dude, Shire okay, I just th- – I don't know what you, you're avoiding. You keep making it – I believe that you don't, but you keep kind of making it sound like you want to fuck horses with the, like, emissions that you're, that, that you're leading see, to. See, 
I like making that joke, but I'm not, I, there's a lot of wor- sayings that I can't say on here, so I, I don't want to get <laughs> you in trouble. Okay, all right, so, all right. I'm going to assume saying? that the things that you're talking about have nothing to do with fucking horses. <laughs> well, I'm not a horse fucker, but I like to okay. joke about it. <laughs> maybe, maybe leave, though. Maybe don't be strong about those parts, but the other parts, whatever. I mean, I like to joke about them. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. Uh, you know, it's it always gets a good laugh out of people. Well, all right, Joe. I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, Mister Gecko. I appreciate you uh, talking with me and whatnot. And uh, I hope you have a good day. Take care, Joe. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. He he lost me at the end there a little bit with the just let you know. I I think Joe should be allowed to do whatever he wants in the military, but maybe maybe we keep him away from the cavalry. Good luck, Joe. Hey, folks, this is Lyle. I am very excited to announce that I am going back on tour in 2024 to do Therapy Gecko Live all across the country. If you've never been to one of my live shows before, they're basically like giant group gecko therapy sessions where people from the audience come on stage to talk to a gecko about whatever they want, just like we do right here on the podcast. Plus... I mix in a few stories and presentations and little tidbits from my own life. Tickets are available right now at therapygeckotour.com, or you can find the link in the episode description. I'm announcing many more cities in the second half of the year, but right now, tickets are on sale for Phoenix, Arizona, Louisville, Kentucky, St. Louis, Missouri, Orlando, Florida, Tampa, Florida, Miami, Florida, Boston, Massachusetts, Denver, Colorado, Syracuse, New York, Albany, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Las Vegas, Nevada, Salt Lake City, Utah, Nashville, Tennessee, Huntsville, Alabama, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, San Jose, California, San Francisco, California, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington. And you can get tickets for all of those cities at therapygeckotour.com. If you didn't hear me say your city, you can still go to the link and hit the RSVP button to get notified for when I do come to your city in the second half of the year. This is my third tour so far, and I think it's going to be sick. So I hope to see you there. Thanks. Call from Dan Man. Hello? Oh, hey. What's up? Hey, who is this? Uh... I'm Dan from Sweden. Dan from Sweden. What's going on in, in Sweden? Uh, just, yeah, just cold, you know, just dark and cold. Are you, now does that make a man sad? Are you sad because of the darkness and the coldness? Or do you, does that like feed the Swedish body? I mean, I'm kind of used to it. So, you know, the darkness is kind of like 50% of your life here. So, you know, it feels okay. I went to Sweden for the first time this summer. I went to, uh, what's the, uh, Stockholm. Yeah. Do you live anywhere yeah, near yeah, there? I heard about it. Oh, no, no. Other side of Sweden. The 7-Elevens at Sweden yeah. have, uh, they have Chinese food. Uh, they have everything here. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't eat it myself, but, you know, to each his own. Well, aren't you a little, a little, a little Boy Scout? You wouldn't eat any 7-Eleven. Good for you. Um, sorry, that was I was just being defensive. Um, <laughs> Dan the man, what's up, man? What do you want to talk about? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've been having some issues lately, and yeah, just wanted some like feedback or something from someone that doesn't know me, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I've seen this girl for a while, uh, and like we hit it off really good, but. Uh, yeah, I'm having issues with myself, you know. It's, like, hard. Because um, I'm, like, used to being alone. So, uh, I don't really know what, you know. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you can't, like, like, get used to being alone and shit. Buddy, I, I'm I'm the, uh, I'm the, the, the expert on this particular uh, uh, conundrum that you're going through. How old are you? I am 37, actually. Mm, okay. Have you spent most of your life alone? 
Uh, not really. Like off and on and shit. But like the last six years, I've been almost completely alone,、uh, mm-hmm. except for you know working shit. So.、Mm-hmm. Now, have you had a period of time in your life that was marked by you know like a like a long term relationship where you weren't alone for you know you had a person in the house with you and you were seeing other people on a daily basis? Was that、uh, your life for a time? Yeah, like before this period of like the six years that has gone past, I've had a really long term relationship and that ended quite badly. So it kind of fucked me up and.、Uh, Made me like not even try because like the the dating scene is so fucking toxic nowadays, you know.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, so yeah, I just kind of like just didn't even try for six years, and then all of a sudden this fell in my lap. Can you tell me why?、Uh, you don't have to if it's not important or you don't want to, but why? Why、yeah. did the last one end badly? Ah,、uh, well, we had a long. We were together maybe like six or seven years, and.、Uh, Everything went well until we like moved in, and then all of a sudden she like changed everything in the way she lived. So it kind of drove us apart,、uh, and yeah, that kind of ended it all. And we were like not really planning on anything, but we were discussing like maybe children and shit, you know. And then all of a sudden that gets dumped in my lap, you know.、Uh, so after that, it kind of took me for a wild ride, so to speak.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And、uh, all right, so I mean, you've experienced like uh, uh, living with a romantic partner before. You've experienced life having、uh, a consistent person around you, and you've experienced for the past six years being alone. And、uh, mm-hmm. I mean, what are you finding to be、uh, the pros and cons of each? I mean, yeah, the, yeah. Like the, being alone, there's not really many co-、uh, pros, so to speak. I mean, the, the only pro I can think of being alone is like you can do whatever you want when you want, right?、Uh, and that's kind of selfish、uh, if you really think about it.、Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like as I said, like I program myself now, like the six years that passed, that this is my life. And now all of a sudden, someone great comes up, and that kind of messes with the whole thing, you know.、Um, so I'm really trying to think about how to change my mentality, but it's really hard,、uh, especially not especially in this age. But you know, it gets hard after like six years of programming yourself to be alone, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, man.、Um, so if you're telling me, and you know, if, if you're telling me the truth, and that's how you really feel, is that there's truly、mm. very little pros to being alone. If those are your、mm. your honest th- feelings, then what you, what is holding you back from inviting this other person <clears throat> into your life?、Uh, to be honest, I think like the biggest issue is like、uh, like repeating. What has been, you know, like、uh, reliving what was, so to speak, and、uh, I don't know if I can take that one more time, to be honest. Like, oh, you're afraid of, of、um, and, oh, you're afraid, you're afraid of this, this new、uh, relationship exploding the way that the last one did. Yeah, basically,、um, and、uh, yeah, yeah, basically, just that, actually. It's not really something I would like to go down again, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's a valid fear. I get, I get it. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, that's a valid fear. But I guess, like, what, what, what are your options, right? Like, you, you can, you can kind of either just continue going like you're going and and be alone for the rest of your life, or、okay. or take another chance. Right, I mean, those are really your two options when when you look at it.、Um, I mean, both sound like equally valid, depending on where I'm coming from.、Uh, but yeah, of course, who wants to be alone forever? You know, that's fucking retarded. To think about it that way. Excuse me for saying that way, but、um, yeah, it's not like healthy to see them both as equally valid. 
This is just on that word. I was watching uh, Charlie. You know the movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, the new one. I was watching. No, no. The, well, yeah, there's the new one. But the in in the 2006 Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, one of the kids says that, and I was like, oh, that's a, that's mm. kind of crazy that that was in that movie. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, what the fuck were we talking it, it about? Actually, it's now that you think about it. Yeah. Um. So, you know, whatever. If if they said it in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, that means it's fine. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay. You're alone. Uh, what, tell me about this girl. Tell me about this, this person that you're going to move in with. Oof. It's a <clears throat> strange story. I talked to her like 10 years ago. and uh, Or maybe more. Maybe 12. And we kind of hit it off. And uh, she lived like... Yeah, a, a long ways away from me, so to speak. And uh, all of a sudden, she just, like, drops off the map. Like, she disappears. She removes me from everything. And I'll think, like, yeah, okay, that's life. Like, I'm young. Fuck it, you know. I'll just meet someone else, as you do. Um, then all of a sudden, she just pops up on Facebook, like, eight to nine months ago. And uh, I didn't even... Realized it was her until I went in and checked, and then I was like, what the fuck? So I wrote her a message, and uh, apparently, like, she got a boyfriend at that time, and uh, that's why she dropped off, which I respect, of course, but, yeah, we just hit it off again, like it was 10 years ago, or 12, or something. And uh, we finally meet, and, uh, yeah. Wow, so this was a person that you had had a little bit of a thing going on with her... uh earlier in your life and then she re-pops up and you guys reconnect yeah yeah exactly uh, okay. so like 10 or 12 years had passed before uh, last time I talked to her until wow. now we started seeing each other wow that's 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 fascinating and and uh, what's it been like lately have you guys been like how, how often have you guys seen each other well considering she still lives oh, far away uh, it's like once every month or two months or something like that uh, really? mostly because work and stuff you know so it's yeah, still it's like you're still trip. you're it's you're still alone kind of because you're that you're really not you know you guys aren't seeing each other every day yeah kind of um i mean we talk like all the time uh, mm-hmm. literally like every second we have spare we talk to each other uh, other than that yeah it's like i'm still alone physically uh, mm-hmm. and it, it all depends like we try to plan out vacation weeks and like next time she's gonna come here I'm gonna go to work so she's gonna be alone for 10 hours a day but she's fine with that mm-hmm. so yeah we just try to see each other as much as possible until maybe she moves down here so to speak Okay, so it sounds. I mean, it sounds like you're you've you're easing into this a little bit. You're not like, hey, let's get married and have kids right now, and uh, you know, just go full speed. It sounds like you're you're you're. I mean, this is a very slow ease. Uh, very, you're, you're trained. Yes, you've been because your problem is you were you were programmed to this life alone, right? And I think to go from being mm-hmm. fully, fully, fully alone to now there's a person in my uh, 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 face a hundred percent of the time. I mean, you're gonna hate them. So, like, this is this is a good uh, the way you're doing it is like it's a gradual reprogramming. It sounds. Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh, I've I've been prone to like just throwing myself into relationships before. Right. And uh, usually they explode. Uh, right. Because of that. So like this time it's like we just take it easy. Uh, you know, just see where it goes. Uh, right. And try not to rush things. You know, because then usually it just end up like, yeah, really bad. Right. You know, I'm. I don't know, man. I've spent uh, 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 it's pretty significant periods alone myself, and I'm I'm personally also struggling with like the, uh, you know, how do I invite more human beings into my life? Because mm. I really do think I think even medically, I think it's like if you ask a doctor whether it's better to be alone or with people, they'll tell you it's better to be with people so um, oh yeah so i don't i don't i don't know i mean it sounds like you're making the right choice right um and 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 
you'll probably uh, and this is uh, I'm I'm being very hypocritical saying this to you, but you will probably feel better, I assume, if you can get over the the your programming, right? I mean, you would know that better than I would because you've experienced both sides of the coin. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And uh, as you said yourself, like it's you do feel better, you know, once you're not completely alone when you have people around you that you can trust and rely on. Um, mm-hmm. it, it does make a huge difference in how you feel. Like mm-hmm. I don't have problems with like hanging out with people or meeting people or talking to people. I'm very social. Um, so it's not like I'm alone alone. It's just like I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm alone from the having someone that loves you in that sense, you know. And also it's helpful for, like, uh, not living like shit. I mean, because, like, when you have another per- – you can't, like, leave your underwear on the floor and leave trash all around and all that shit. I mean, you don't have that problem because you're Swedish, and I assume that your house looks like Ikea, but – for you know, if you're in America um, and you, it doesn't matter, you can just it, it's helpful, it's helpful to have some accountability on that front. Well, let, let me just say like that it doesn't look like IKEA for most people here. I mean, I do see like where you're coming from, but no, like I got my summer wheels resting right here in front of me. It's like a, I put my feet on them, you know, so what the, on my wait, car. What are, what are summer wheels? Uh, you know the the rims with the summer tires on them. What? What are you talking about? Summer? T- what are summer tires? Ah, uh, yeah. There's like you have t- tires all around. Like you can drive any any time of the year. But here in Sweden, since it gets too cold and snowy, you Dude, have. Like, are you hold on? Are you talking tires? about a table or a car? Because those are two very different objects that I'm. No, I'm talking right about now. like I got I got the rims for my car. Right on the floor here by my uh, computer. Oh, oh, okay. oh, yeah, okay, yeah. That doesn't sound yeah, very. So it's uh, not like IKEA. Yeah. It's like I got rims here. I got, you know, I got shit all over. But yeah, yeah it's not like I got fifty days worth of food packets on the floor or something. At least. Mm-hmm. It's a, you're yeah. You've got a uh, IKEA hot dog buns all over your room. I could have. Yeah, yeah, I could have. It's not impossible. You should try the 7-Eleven Chinese food. It actually is. I don't know if it's Chinese food. It's like a, so they have like a noodle bar there. It's good. I mean, anyway, this is whatever. kind of like, uh, this is like very decisive and people hate me for it. But like, I'm gluten. Not like I chose to beat it, you know, but. I, wait, wait, I you're, just, gluten, you're gluten free? Gluten intolerant. Oh, oh, all right. Food. Well, then don't go anywhere near the Seven Eleven, or you'll combust upon entrance. Yeah, I'd probably explode just by going in there and smelling it. Mm-hmm. I was because I was gonna say that uh, uh, trying the Seven Eleven Chinese food is is probably the, uh, the you know I, that's a that's a single lonely man activity, and so you know the time is hopefully running out on that. But anyway, um, yeah, I know I know you talked about like that. Uh, 7-Eleven experience you had uh, with I think yeah. some dangerous yeah. Anytime I look at my, anytime there. I look at the phone ringing and I see like a plus six, like I see it's a foreign area code. I'm like, oh hell yeah, I can talk to this person about foreign 7-Elevens like I do anytime I talk to anyone from <laughs> fucking Europe. But anyway, we've talked about that too much. We've talked about that too much. Um, Dan the man, uh, is no, there no, anything no. else you you want to say about any of this shit or any anything at all in general before we go? Well, not really. I mean, I kind of already, like, had the same thoughts as before, like I do now. Like, I kind of already understand it. It's just like, I need someone to reaffirm it. Because people here, they're all like, oh, yeah, well, fuck women, you know. And, like, uh, you know, the, the co-workers, I mean, they're like, yeah, oh, meet women, fuck them, you know. They don't really care about this whole love shit, at least what they're saying. So I just need someone from outside of all of that to, like, just reaffirm what I'm already thinking, you know. Well, I, fuck, I, look, I don't know, man. I mean, there's, like, I'm sure there's, and it's, I don't, I don't think it's a gender thing. Like, there's, I'm sure that there's, you know, 
single, you know, 60-year-old men and 60-year-old women that are, are happier that way than not. I, I don't, like, I, I truly yeah. believe there's no um, right way to live life. But, uh, again, I, you've experienced both sides of the corn, so you, you decide for yourself which, which, which universe you enjoy living in more. That's true, man. Got to just try to remember myself about that from time to time, I guess. Um, Dan, the man, any final thoughts, feeling sentiments before we go? <sighs> Not really, man. Just keep up what you're doing. We all love Thanks, you. Man. And, uh, yeah, have a great night, man. You too. You truly are the man, Dan. Thanks, man. Bye. Take care. Seriously, you go back. You go back and watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from 2006. You'll be like, "God damn, they really got away with some stuff in this movie." Call from Josh. To accept, press one to send a voicemail. Hello. Yo, what's up, Gek? How's it going? Is this Josh? This is Josh, bro. Well, Holy Josh, shit, I, can't, I can't believe I'm fucking talking to you. Here we are. I can't. I'm can't believe I'm talking to you, man. I my one of my first friends. Names was Josh. Was he cool? He's no, he was a dick. But you sound cooler than than he is. Um, what's up, Josh? What do you want to talk about? Damn, bro. I don't know, honestly. You didn't I think just you'd get I this far? What happened? Yeah, honestly, I called like two hundred times, and I was like, yeah, I'll give it one more shot. Well, you wanted to call and see what would happen, and this is what's happening. How do you feel about it? Pretty cool, bro. Just want to smoke some weed and fucking. Talk to a gecko on the phone. That's pretty sick. Life can get better than that, I guess. That is pretty sick. That is pretty sick. It's definitely a bizarre thing to do, smoke weed and talk to a gecko on the phone. I forgot I was a gecko for a second. I'll forget that I'm a lizard. You know? It's Dude, weird I, I have this, like, alt costume to my life. Say that again? But that's cool that you stick with it and that you kind of go with it, you know? It's cool that you just keep on... Dressing up and doing the the geck thing, bro. Just keep on gecking it out. I don't know. That's that's a lot of commitment. That's probably more commitment than I've ever really had with a lot of shit that I've done. Yeah, what's something that you've done that you feel like you couldn't commit to? Um, I don't know, bro. I'm like in between a lot of shit right now, and it just feels hard to commit to something like super concrete and like solid. Mm, what are your options? Well, kind of a lot, to be honest, but it's just I don't know how to, like, dial it in and, like, kind of figure out, like, if it's really something that I want to do and, like, pursue. Like, I don't know. I'm interested in, like, a lot of things. Um, and I do a lot of shit. Like, right now I work at a weed farm, and that's pretty cool, and I grow weed for a living, and I do it on my own time, too, but I also have, like, a degree in photography, and I know how to DJ and like I kind of know how to do like a lot of shit to be honest it's just I don't I don't like hone it down and like kind of like focus on one thing I kind of just jump from one thing to another how old are you I'm 24 hmm do you have like a day job yeah I work yeah I work at a weed farm all oh, right right okay so yeah. all right but you've so you've you're sticking to that that's that's your kind of constant yeah i've been doing it for about like four months now and it's it's really fucking cool bro it's probably like one of the best jobs that i've ever had it's definitely something that like makes me happy and like every day i go to work and i'm like super fucking happy i don't get paid that much which fucking sucks but i mean mm. it is what it is you know i mean i get paid like 15 60 or something like that but mm -hmm. it is what it is you know like pay is one thing and stuff but uh fucking yeah, I mean, that's just the only, like, problem right now. It's just I don't get paid enough. Otherwise, I'd really be, like, you know, honing it down and, like, kind of doing this, like, in the long term of things. But, uh, yeah, it's just it's a little hard right now. Brother, I'll tell you, if you're waking up every day and you don't want to shoot yourself in the fucking face, you are winning in this life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's honestly, that's that's a good point to make. I don't know. For, I, I do mean that, though. I mean, it's... uh. I think to wake up every day and not be like, oh, fuck, you know, that's, 
that truly is winning in life, right? I mean, what else? What what could be better? I mean, I know it's it's a bummer not being able to make any real money, but um, I I mean, with the weed farm, it's like, couldn't you couldn't you go into business for yourself one day and then start making some money there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely could, and I have like a certification for like um like cannabis business like i through my university i took like a course for like a couple months and they certified me to like you know i guess be knowledgeable in the industry and i I really am bro like i've been doing this like on my own for about three years and i'm still learning and there's like a lot to learn about it um and it just takes a lot of time dude like that's the only thing that sucks is like it takes a shit ton of time and there's like a lot of opportunity at my work to kind of like, uh, I guess, grow with it. But it's just like I have to really stay there for like a long time and and wait for them to expand. And I'm just like a super impatient person. And I wish that like I had the patience to kind of wait. But I have like a but lot can't of other, you like, can't you go rogue? Why can't you go rogue? I am trying to, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's just it's fucking hard. It's just you need to have a lot of money oh, yeah. to do it, you know. Like, right yeah. now, I'm growing out of my garage, and I got, like, a really good fucking setup. I'm not going to lie. Like, I got a huge-ass tent. I got, like, seven plants in there. And then I have, like, another cloning seedling tent, and I got a lot of other stuff going in there. And I made myself, like, a personal, like, little Instagram to, like, start promoting, like, the stuff that I'm doing and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's it's beginning, you know? It's just, like, at the starting stages of where it's at. Man. But you're happy every day. You're not uh, like, do you? And you, you're not going insane every day. No, yeah, honestly, like life is super good for me right now. Like, I have a girlfriend and she's amazing, and I have an amazing family and uh, really good life. Honestly, like everything's like really good for me. It's just you know, I just want to get my life, my personal life started. Like, I still live with my mom, and you know, it's it's cool. You know, I get to save up money, but you know, I live with my mom, and it's kind of embarrassing just in that in that in that way you know Mm. just because like a lot of people that i know they're like you know starting their lives and going about their own business and i know i shouldn't be like comparing my life to theirs but i'm just like man i really wish i could Uh, i mean uh, do you do you do you feel as though your life has has yet to start Mm. what do you mean you said you see your friends starting their lives, as if to imply that you have not yet started your life. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess they just leave their nest, you know, like they, they move out of their parents. And I don't know. I feel like that's like a huge step for people, and I just haven't gone to that step, and it's uh, it's a little frustrating, you know. So wait a minute. Are you that's growing like... a bunch of weed in your mom's basement? <laughs> No, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, in my garage, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, said, you said no, and then you're like, well, yeah, I yeah, like, well, super yeah, totally yeah, am. Does yeah, she know that you're growing weed in the house? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, she's she's cool with it. I mean, uh, my family's, like, pretty cool with, like, the stuff that I'm into and pretty supportive about it and all that. I mean, she doesn't, like, really care, and, like, she doesn't, like, ask about it. Like, you know, I'll tell her, like, oh, like, I'm doing this, and this is what my plants are looking like and stuff like that. And she's like, yeah, that's cool. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm sort of feel, Oh, there's a cockroach. I got to get rid of this cockroach. Give me, hold on. We'll cut oh, this part dude. out. Brandon, we'll cut this part out. Yeah. No, take your time and get that shit out of there. I'm actually dealing with a bug problem oh, right now. Gross, in my, dude. Yeah. Do you get the shit out of there? Oh God. Should I give this fucking Airbnb a bad review? This is gross, dude. What am I gonna? I would, bro. Oh, no, if there's any away. kind of like pest, dude. Oh, dude. If there's any kind of pest, give him a bad review. It is a big ass. It doesn't cockroach. matter what. Well, now it's gone. Now it's out of my eyesight. Oh wait, no, it's in the corner right now. It's just feeding. Are oh, it's crawling up. It? Brandon, we'll cut all this out. All right, hold on. Step on it, Gek. Actually, eat it, Gek. You're huge. a fucking lizard, dude. I am a lizard. I wish I had, like, lizard powers, but... Oh, God. I don't even... Re- I don't want to kill it. I just want it... Oh, did it just flap? Uh, Do cockroaches dude. have... Fu- Do cockroaches have fucking wings? Yeah, bro. That shit will fly at your face, man. You, Wait, you they... Fl- cockroaches fly? Oh, fuck oh, yeah, All right, dude, Hold on. Fuck this. Fly. Fuck this. 
All right, yeah, hold on. Fuck, dude, fuck this. Like All right, hold on. All right, I'm... Where, where is it? It's, it's crawling under the blue screen. Oh, no, bro. All right, where's my... Where, I need the paper towels. Go. Oh, God. Oh, now it's crawling up. It's like, You'll be able to see it in a second. How do I... <laughs> I'm afraid. All right, oh, should no, I just... Dude. You got on. this, man. You can get it. All right, hold on. You Let me this. just... I need to... Give me a minute. I, 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 maybe I'll use the mic stand. Just, uh, Wait, it knows. Know. It can tell. Step on it, dude. Oh, it, it, oh, damn oh. it! It, hold on. Did you hear that? Yeah. All yeah, right, now yeah. it's running. It's it. Get okay, it, it knows. It knows. I'm out for it. Yeah, let it fuck off, dude. Fuck that. I don't want to damage the mics. Ugh. It's hiding now. It's in this corner. You have like a book or something? You know, I'll use this. I got a fucking. Yeah, maybe I will use it. But that's a good idea. Let me get a. Get something heavy and just squash it, dude. Hold on. Let me get a... I don't even know where it is now. Now it's all... It's still hiding in the corner? Damn it, now I'm gonna be sleeping and a fucking cockroach is gonna... Jump up on nah, me. Nah, dude, you gotta get ah, rid crap. of it, man. Oh, God, don't... that spooked me. That spooked me a lot. I'm spooked. Yeah. Don't yeah, let it I'm stay just... in there, man. Hold on, I gotta... I gotta take care of this fucking thing. Yeah, take care of it, man. Oh, crap. Now it's under my bed now. Oh, God. No, dude. No, not your bed. Oh, yeah, what am I going to do? I'm, I don't know how I'm going to sleep it tonight. Well, can you trap it in any way, or is there nothing around you that you can get it with? Damn it. I'm going to wake up in the right middle now? of the night, and there's going to be a big cockroach on me. You have, like, a cup? Trap it in a cup. Just, like, put it. Put the put a cup I could. I tried. Place. Well, I tried to get it with the mic stand, but... Brandon, we'll cut all this out, but... No, you're good. Or should I leave it leave in? It. Should I just leave all this in? Yeah, leave it in, dude. Yeah, it's a good It's a good way to... I don't know. Just fucking I feel like if I were in my car and I was listening to a podcast and the host just started talking about a cockroach that he's trying to kill, I'd be like, what the fuck That's a real this? moment into it, you know? I guess so. You know, like real life kind of struggle situation in the moment. You know, uh, yeah, you're, you're handling it pretty well, if I'd say. I mean, you're trying to get rid of the problem. I don't know where this fucking thing is now, and I don't want to. Hold on. Oh, this is so gross, man. Yeah, dude, that is, that is pretty gross. I've had to deal with a lot of cockroaches thing, at though. work and stuff, and it sucks. Where do you, where do you work that you were dealing with cockroaches? I don't even remember. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm going to be so... I don't even remember what the hell we were talking about before any of this happened. We are just talking about growing weed, bro, in my mom's oh, okay. garage. All right, hold on. Stay. Okay, do me a favor. Try to remember what we were talking about, because I'm going to probably cut this out and fucking... Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. I want to I wanna continue our conversation, because it was a good... Oh, I found it. Oh, it's, oh it's, on, it's on its back now. It's on its back. Oh, my God. It's f fucking... Holy shit. Get this it, is gross. get it, get it, get it, get it. Holy shit. Dude, how big is it? Like, is it the size of your hand or, like, your Dude, foot? Dude, I just fucking got this shit. Oh, my God. Let's go, Gek. That's hold on. Fun. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, get it. Whack him. Take him, bro. Oh, crap. I ran away. <laughs> Did you get it? Hold on, it ran away! Oh, fuck, dude. No, dude. no I, I stomped the fuck out of it, and it... Dude, I got it, I stomped the fuck out of it, and then it ran away, hold on. Just, like, put a lot of pressure on it, just, like, put your body weight on it. Oh, I see it, hold on. Yeah, if you don't fuck... Stuff. If you just stomp on it, it's not gonna... It's, you're not gonna kill that shit, dude. They're, like, indestructible. You gotta, like, put weight on it. I thought I was saying, like, try to get a book or something and throw it in, and it'll explode or something. I don't know. Do you get it, bro? I'm concerned now. All right, you I think I tra it. all right. I trapped it. There you I go. I trapped That's it, and now I'm just I'm trapped it, and now I'm just gonna. Now I'm just gonna, dude. How long were we doing that for? I don't know, man. But I mean, at least you got it. That's what I was just concerned that you're gonna be trapped with a cockroach in a Airbnb, dude. That would have sucked. 
Should we leave this in? I feel like this was... This wasn't good. I don't think this is good. But this is not a good podcast, right? No, dude. No, dude. It's good. It's good. It's good. You're, all your podcasts are good, bro. I listen to you at work like almost all the time. Dude, what the fuck were we talking? It was good. That was, I, dude, what the fuck were we talking about? We're just talking about weed farming, bro. I was uh, telling you how I worked at a weed farm and... Yeah, I mean, how I worked at a weed farm and I just got a lot of, like, kind of, like, opportunities, I guess, and, like, avenues to go through with it in terms of, like, you know, going rogue and, like, kind of starting my own business and whatever, I guess. All right, fuck it. We'll leave it in. (laughs) We're going to leave it in. If this makes the podcast, you should leave this in and just have the video be like, all right, well, fine. All right, screw it. We're going to leave it in. This is part of you and me's connection together as part of this call. Um, yeah, it's real as hell. I, I, I'm so, dude, I forgot about all of life before yeah. this. I don't even know what the fuck I was talking to you about before. Oh, you were talking, oh, yes, living with your mom and um, uh, growing weed and yes, sir. all yep. this stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. pretty much on par with what we were talking about. All right. You asked me where well, I work, so I mean, we left. Oh yeah, where do you work? Where do you work? Oh wait, you work at a farm. Uh, oh, yeah, but you said I you had you farm. have commitment issues, and you were doing too much, um, too many different things. But I think that's good. I think you, you're, um, I think you're on a good track here, my friends. I really do believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like sometimes I wish I could just. Uh... I don't know, man. Just, like, sit down and, like, really just, like, figure out, like, what the fuck I really want to, like, do. Because, like, you know, growing weed is, like, fucking fun. And I love it, man. It's it's awesome, you know. It's it's just, like, I like to spend time with plants. I like to grow them and uh, take care of them and bring things to life. You know, I think that's just, it's really cool for me to experience that. And, you know, I do, like, a lot of, like, other artsy stuff. But I don't know. I get insecure about it and I kind of just like put it down. And when I get stressed out, I kind of just go back to gardening and it just brings me back to like who I really feel like I am, I guess. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Yeah. You know, I think um, you, you sound like a very multifaceted man. Yeah, a bit, I guess. I mean, I know how to do a good amount of things like a jack of all trades, but master of none kind of deal. Right. Right. I don't think that's a bad. I think it's good to be a Renaissance man, though. I, I, I know you, you're you're bringing it in as some kind of um, new, like, uh, 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 no, 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 no. You're bringing it in some kind of like a bad thing that you you can't commit to anything. But right. I think it's good. I mean, you 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 really only have such a finite amount of time to live. You might as well do all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I think people should just be interested in a lot of different things and not really, like, I don't know, I guess only just be settled with one thing and just leave it at that. I think people should always try to learn and just, like, be interested in other stuff. Like, I mean, I just learned how to do, like, growing weed out on a whim, bro. Like, I just threw a seed in a pot and fucking invested, like, money and a lot of time into it. And, you know, here I am, like, three years later with, like, a pretty pretty good, like, method of, like, growing weed and, and shit and been fun man it's it's been a really cool journey and uh i just don't know where it's gonna take me you know it's like i'm spending all this time and money and i spent a lot of money on this like certification and stuff and i spent a lot of money on my own growing supplies and it's just like god damn like what is this really gonna do for me besides just the fact that it brings me like happiness which isn't like <laughs> what, that, dude you know? like, dude you're fu- what are you fucking talking about? what do you actually hear the words that just came out of your fucking mouth I know, that's what I'm saying. Like it's You like, said it's what is this thing. actually gonna do for me except bring me joy and happiness? It's fucking Well, I stupid. guess like a, when I when I say that, like I mean like I don't know, bro. People are just maybe not people, maybe it's just me that I'm just so focused on like trying to get a career already, you know, and like really sink down into that and just I don't know, be a normal person. Yeah, guess, but here's like, the thing though, right? It's like uh, uh, you know, money I don't know. It's helpful for a lot of fucking things. I feel like you. I feel like you like you strive for money so that you can, you know, relax and be happy. But if yeah. you can relax and be happy without any money, 
you're kind of fucking golden, dude. I don't know. I'm very like I'm. Je I'm honestly I'm jealous of you when I hear that you're, like you wake up every day and you're, you know, you're chilling. And I can hear it in your voice. You can, and I could hear it when you were, when we were talking about the cockroach. You you you're in a good mood. You know, you're not groveling at the fucking streets every day, right? And that's a that's a blessing. Yeah, and I guess that's how I used to kind of feel when I was in college and, like, making art and shit. And it's, like, I think that kind of, like, way of, like, going about, like, making art and, you know, going to school for it was, like, really a fucking pain in the ass and just, like, not really all that much fun anymore. I mean, I made a lot of cool shit, but there was just, like, a lot of expectation behind it. And, you know, when I grow weed, it's, like, I already know the expectation and I already know what I want. Give me, what's your weed Instagram? I want to promote you because you helped me. You you talked me through. I think if you weren't there when I was fighting that roach, I think I would have been. I wouldn't have been bold enough to trap it. It's still underneath. Here's the thing: my mic stand. Right, I tried to <laughs> hit it. I tried to hit it with my fucking mic stand, and what I did was yeah. I, I I hit I hit it with the mic stand. And I thought I got it, but I didn't realize yeah. that the mic stand. It's not the base it's isn't flat. Enough, the base yeah, isn't flat. The base is concave. So I didn't hit oh, it. I just no. trapped it. Yeah, you could have just trapped it then. Damn. But then if so you it's, it's it, sitting there. It's sitting under my mic stand in the other room. It's trapped. Wait. So what's the what's the current situation of the roach? Is it is it in something? Is it like what? Like, it's what you it's do? trapped. I can't bring the microphone all the way over there. It's trapped underneath. I hope it is. If I lift up that mic stand, then there's no bug underneath it i'm gonna be freaked out i'm gonna be like where the fuck is this thing well when you're i'll ready, get it though so, so yeah when you're ready to get it you just gotta be in go mode and you really gotta kill that thing like get something like super heavy i don't know what you have around you but the heaviest thing that you could find just get it and once it once you open that mic fan bro just fucking squash it i'm about to smash it with this tv all right um well Josh, I really do feel like we got to know each other pretty well over the course of these these twenty minutes, and um, yeah. I'm rooting for you, man. I think uh, I think you're doing great. I really do. Okay. Of all the people, I, uh, from 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 experience, from my personal experience being a human being, and my personal experience talking to several different human beings on this show. I think you're doing pretty damn good, Josh. So keep your fucking head up. And did you already give me the weed Instagram? No, bro. Um, let me check what it is because I kind of forgot the name of it, even though I go on it like every single day. It's um, it's Z Woods Z W O O D dot Z. Z Woods. Yeah, Z Woods. Z W O O D. Dozzy, yeah. I'm gonna check it out. It's, it, it's private right now, but I'll make it. Uh, hold on, let me fucking let me make it public so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, it'll take me like just two seconds, bro. Well, Josh, is there anything else you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? Actually, fire here. Let me uh, look, oh, 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 oh. let me look at let me look at the. Let me, I'm gonna look at the Instagram real quick. Yeah, I just because I, 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 I might I might have I might have silly comments. Z wood wood dot Z dot oh, Z fuck. yep Z wood oh Z wood dot Z okay all right uh, yeah so oh, you got a bunch of pictures of weed this is cool this is nice this is something look at you you're an entrepreneur my friend. Thank you, man. You and you you make it. You have a little journal. You know what's funny? Yeah, our pro. Kind of our, if you look at both of our profile, if you look at both of our profile pictures on Instagram from far away, they look very similar. <laughs> the weed. The Dude, weed look at this weed. shit. You have a whole v v blog here. This is cute. I like this. Thanks, man. Yeah. I like try to keep it pretty well documented and like let people know what I'm doing and like try to like explain like the methods and like techniques that I use and all that kind of stuff. It's really fun. It's uh, it's it's really it's really cool to kind of like document in that way because I I mean 
I don't, and I'm not really good at writing and stuff. I always fucking forget. So I feel like I'm on social media enough that it just kind of correlates to be the same thing. Well, Josh, I might be uh, hitting you up to borrow some pesticides very soon. Dude, I have a bug problem right now, so uh, I got some good shit. I just spent like $130 on like a fungicide and insecticide to kill these fucking aphids that I got in my tent, which is like well, really pissing me off, but it is what it is. I'm going to throw this Keurig at a roach for free, and hopefully that gets the job done. Oh, wait, I have a pan. Okay, I'm going to use the pan. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Use a pan, bro. I mean, but you just got to be fast. You know, you got to throw your whole body into it, really. Otherwise, yeah, I, mean, I was too busy. I was too busy trying to. I was trying. Well, I was distracted because I was talking to you while I was doing it. But now I think I'm gonna get it. Are you gonna take a break real quick and like get it, like like on stream? No, I think I'm gonna finish this phone call and then I'm gonna go get it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, dude. You gotta kill that thing, man. It's like it's not good to have roaches around you. I mean, especially if you're sleeping in the area where it's at, man. I mean, that's just that's pretty dangerous, dude. What? Where are you? I don't. Where, I don't know what? if it's dangerous. I don't think that. I mean, it's it's gross, but I don't think that the roach can like hurt me. They can hurt your feelings with its presence. Is, is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer before we go, Josh? Just always learn stuff. Always learn things and uh, be excited for things that uh, that you're never really sure about. And uh, smoke a shit ton of weed and do some shrooms. Beautiful. Take care, Josh. Check. Later, man. All right. In the show notes of this episode, I will let you know whether or not I got the roach. I think. All right. I'm. All right. I'm looking at it right now, and it's underneath. Yeah, it's underneath this fucking mic stand, and I don't know. I don't know if it's still there or not, but. We'll get it. Thanks for calling, Josh.